Hello there guys, it's Joey, and this is a new spell set for the store. This is the Court of Camelot spell set. So the Court of Camelot spell set has been on the back burner for a little while until the energies were exactly where I wanted them to be for this particular set and it took a little bit of playing with the idea of what I actually wanted the outcome to be. Uh, so the Camelot kind of follows in the line of the Avalonic energies which I have engaged with quite a bit recently and have a few different spell items around the same line. So we have an Excalibur, we have a Merlin, we have an Arthur, we have the Sorceresses. And I really felt that I wanted to do something for Camelot as a visual place, as an energetic place really. Um, so you're creating a, a sanctity, a area which in which you envisage what Camelot would be to you and then bringing in spell energies which I feel are appropriate to that manifestation. So the Court of Camelot is the highest elevation of warrior energies, the ideals of knights and knighthood, the manifestation of those ideals. It's concerned with chivalry, with honour and grace, it's concerned with sovereignty in its truest form, connected to the land and the right to rule, which draws on from the Celtic mythos, which some believe uh, influenced, if we're not sort of uh, deconstructed Celtic myths, that Arthurian legends came about because they were Celtic myths and they got changed and Christianised. So the idea of a man's right to rule is tied back to uh, Morrigan energy in which she can dictate a king's right and the king has to be whole and complete and honourable and then the land will be fertile and so on and so forth. And, and when a man is not then he is replaced and that imagery actually comes up within the uh, Mordred and Arthurian storyline. As well as having the goodwill of others, so appealing to other people within your community, however you best apply that community. It doesn't have to be like your physical community, it could be an area in which you're going into, uh, a workplace environment, uh, meeting new friends and so on and so forth. But goodwill of others is something that comes into Camelot energy because Camelot is about a king and his knights and the good of the kingdom and Camelot being a beacon of hope for the entire country, for, for England in the mythos rather than just the ruling elite. Therefore, the spell energies pertain to justice, truth, fairness, equality, morality, and is the place of heroes and heroism. Heroism. So there is multiple energies going on here. We have the idea of justice, chivalry, honor, grace, the qualities of the highest ideal of the warrior within oneself as well as attracting those energies into one's life. So if you are in the area where you want to be meeting people who are of the highest caliber and you want to be meeting your tribe and you want to be finding new friends and you want to be forming new connections and these connections to be solid, good, honest and true, then the Camelot energy works very well for that. It works in moral issues where you need to uphold high ideals of morality and figure out situations. Sometimes the murky waters can muddy things and you're not quite sure what the correct decision is or the legal system or justice system is muddying the waters rather than seeking out true justice and you need a little bit of a help here. It's also the place of heroes, heroism and this sovereignty energy, taking control of one's life to be the highest best version of you and if you need courage and you need to shine and you need to be the best version of you this can be a wonderful energy with which to work from because you are seeking the highest ideal and the highest ideal within Arthurian legend is the ideal of Camelot. So for the spell set currently, uh, unless somebody requests anything else, <laughs> um, there are three items in the spell set. 
uh, the oil, the smudge, add a beeswax candle just to shake it up a bit. I haven't done a beeswax candle for a little while and I do love making them. Let's look at that first because it's so pretty. Zoomy zoom. Zoom. So it's a deep, deep, deep rich purple with a beautiful multicoloured shimmy shim. I really hope that's going to show up on the camera. The light is all kind of crazy today, uh, but hopefully you get a good look at that. And then we have obsidian and amethyst in the centre. The obsidian um, applies to all of the avalonic energies. It creates a shield here for Camelot. It creates a scrying energy as well, which means the, the deep introspection you can bring to situations with Camelot. So you're looking for your higher idea, you want to know what to do, you want to know what the right decision is, and you, you're thinking and scrying and searching and divination, and obsidian lends itself well to that. And amethyst sort of connects us to our higher selves as well. It's also wonderful for personal sovereignty. There's a real kingly energy, particularly about the beeswax. Uh, I went for a very deep purple for Arthur as well and I really do feel it lends itself to that regal royal energy as well as a deep spirituality. Then we have the spell oil. There's a very interesting harvest energy as well to Camelot, uh, maybe because it's I've come off the back of uh, Lunasar energies with it and have created it off the back of Lunasar and it really does feel like fields of gold and bringing the fields in and, and feeding the people and it really does feel like the idea of personal harvest and bounty comes into this as well of course because you are looking for those high ideals and then the harvest of those ideals. So it kind of really brings through the spell energy. It's from the ideals into the into the fruition, into the manifestation, because Camelot is a manifestation of these ideals. And so you can manifest those ideals within your life. And then we have the smudge. Ooh, too far. <laughs> Again, reflecting the field energy, the harvest energy, the bounty energy. The smudges are created layer by layer for a vibrance, for a scent, uh, and therefore sometimes this one looks slightly less pretty than some of the others, but its scent is really gorgeous and it has this real earthy field energy to it, this, this, this harvest, this bringing forth the personal harvest as well as seeking out uh, honour and grace and truth. It's very, very heroic, very uplifting. It's quite masculine, actually. I mean, it doesn't mean that um, either of these energies uh, couldn't be applied to either gender. Uh, within oneself, you know, you can balance the gender energy within yourself. Um, so there's definitely an Arthurian feel to this set as well. Arthur is definitely present here. Um, you can feel his touch kind of in everything. It's interesting because uh, that's not how I was going to, how I went about it. But clearly Arthur uh, rocks through Camelot, so he's not going nowhere. <laughs> so this personal sovereignty energy created here by the smudge is of paramount importance, creating your ideal Place. And it doesn't necessarily have to be a physical place, but it's creating your ideals, upholding your ideals, and walking to your highest self within the world. So that's it for this particular video, and many blessings.